What's good, guys? Prince Sports here giving you that raw, uncut sports stimulus package. Check this out. All right? Giannis Antetokounmpo is on the verge of winning a championship at the age of 26. Okay? Now, if I was to tell you he could go down as the greatest small forward, all power forward of all time, better than LeBron James, better than Kevin Durant, better than Kawhi Leonard, better than all these guys. Okay? He has a chance to surpass all these guys. And you can make a case he's already surpassing some of them now. Okay? And he could go into the league starting the next season as the best player in the world. Because he'll have that championship. He'll be the last man left standing. When it's all said and done, Giannis Antetokounmpo could be the last man standing. All right? When it comes to a guy like LeBron James, by the age of 26, LeBron James didn't have the individual accolades as much as Giannis, okay? LeBron James wasn't as good or dominant as Giannis in his first few years of coming up than Giannis is now. By the age of 26, Giannis already did more than what LeBron James did individually and team-wise. And he stuck with the same team that drafted him. And he could win a championship with Chris Middleton, a second round draft pick. Drew Holiday, who hasn't been an all-star since 2013. Okay? One championship from Giannis will be worth more than any championship LeBron James has ever won. Anyone. Okay? More valuable and more important than any championship than Kevin Durant has won. All right, and as of right now, he already have better numbers than um, Kawhi Leonard. He's an MVP candidate every single year. Kawhi Leonard is thirty years old. Giannis is only twenty six, and Kawhi is barely able to play a full season now. Okay, he's coming off surgery. He may have a good three more years left, and then he's done. LeBron James is on the verge of being retired. Kevin Durant is on the verge of being out of his prime and being retired. The only guy left standing would be Giannis Antetokounmpo. Ten years from now, Giannis will be coming out of his prime by being the age of 36 years old. Ten years. Technically, your prime in basketball terms or in any sport term, the term prime means the highest level, the peak of your life, okay? That you perform the best that you can't go any more higher. That your skills is 100% perfected. Now Giannis may not be the most skillful player in basketball. He may have a problem shooting free throws. But one thing's for sure. If he continues to pit up these numbers. Dominate. And go to the finals and win. Sky's the limit. This man got. Approximately 9 to 10 more years. To win more championships. Think about that. If he don't go the super team route, all of his championships would be worth more than anybody's that form super teams. So here's the thing about forming super teams. Your resume could be easily depleted. As good as LeBron James' resume is, it's tainted because he won with super teams. He won with top five players. Giannis ain't playing with no top five players. Giannis ain't playing with no top ten players. And Chris Middleton wasn't even an all-star this year. He's a two-time all-star. His all-star days are over with. If you can't be a consistent all-star, you're not really a real all-star. Those are once-in-the-blue-moon all-stars. Everybody has a certain time in their career where they could perhaps make the all-star game. But if you could do it every single year, you're a perennial all-star, okay? All right? And that alone... Is more credible and more respectable on Giannis's part. Will he catch up to a guy like Tim Duncan? Because he do play the four and he plays the three. So he's a hybrid small forward slash power forward. Can he catch the Tim Duncan? I don't know. Okay? Tim Duncan won with no super teams. All those guys was drafted on that team. And they weren't top draft picks, okay? Only top draft pick on the San Antonio Spurs was Tim Duncan himself. All right? 
You didn't know Tony Parker was going to be good. He was drafted. He developed. They stuck with him and they developed the talent they had. Same thing with Mano Ginobili. Okay? Those guys were drafted. That's not a super team. Nobody walked around saying the San Antonio Spurs was a super team. They developed into a dynasty by hard work and dedication. The same way Giannis could do for the Milwaukee Bucks. This man playing with no All-Stars and on the verge of winning the championship. Technically, he's playing with no All-Stars. He playing with a borderline All-Star from 2021, I mean 2020, but he's not a perennial All-Star because he can't keep he can't keep that same energy. He can't be an All-Star every single year. He flamed out. He had a he had a little short reign on top. Like Biggie said, your reign was short like leprechauns. Your reign on top was short like leprechauns. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That would basically be a lot of guys. Giannis will go down if he continues this pace for the next 10 years, assuming no injuries, he continues to win. He would go down as the greatest small forward ever, all power forward ever, surpassing Larry Bird, surpassing LeBron James, surpassing Kevin Durant, surpassing Kawhi Leonard. All of the things are in his stable. He may not be the most skilled player of all time, but he could go down as the most dominant player in the league today. He is the most equivalent dominant player in basketball to Shaq right now. The guy is shooting 50-something percent from the field. Dominant. Almost close to 60% in this year's finals. And he just came off an injury. Beast mode. That's unbelievable. Okay? Y'all keep sleeping on Giannis. That man could have won MVP this year. Only thing stopped him from winning MVP was injuries. That's facts, man. And he gonna go into next season if he wins this championship as the best player in the world and being an MVP candidate for the Milwaukee Bucks. Continuing to make that team successful throughout the regular season. Something Kawhi Leonard can't keep up with because he's not consistent enough. Kevin Durant, not consistent enough. Injury prone. None of these guys are able to hang with Giannis right now. LeBron James, he almost on his way out the door. He ain't got the 10 years left of basketball, but Giannis does. 10 years from now, Giannis is just 36 years old. And he could probably still win championships as an old man like Tim Duncan. He would have to hand over the alpha rights, but he could still win championships. And if he wins championships right now as an alpha by age 26, he'd be doing something that LeBron can't do, Kevin Durant couldn't do. None of these guys have a more impressive resume than Giannis by age 26. And he's only going to continue to grow. Watch out for Luka too. Luka and Zion, you need to watch out for them too. They could perhaps give Giannis competition for that forward position. Sports out. But one thing's for sure. LeBron James and Kevin Durant don't get surpassed. This goes to show you how little, how less respectable their careers is. And how tainted it is. It is what it is. Prince Sports out. Peace.